Hey curly girls. Okay, so I got a request from somebody on my Instagram to do a demo. So I did another video talking about refreshing, but I just discussed the products that I used and and how I like to use them, but there's really nothing like actually seeing that in action. So that's what I'm doing today. I think when it comes to curly hair, um, it's complicated to learn how to take care of it because not only are you learning what products work for your hair, you're also learning how much of each product to use, when to apply it, because that makes a difference in terms of the order you're applying products, especially if you're cocktailing them, which means you're applying multiple products instead of just using one to do everything, um, as well as the technique that you use to apply it and then to dry it. So it, it's a little complicated. People get into the curly girl method because they want their hair um, to look nice um, easier. They don't want it to be complicated and blow drying your hair every day is easy, right? You just do basically one thing. But I will tell you that for me at least, and then I'll get off my soapbox, for me at least, it took me about six months, and I mentioned this in my previous refresh video, to really figure out all of those steps and now doing my hair is much easier. It may not look like it right now because I haven't done anything to my hair yet today. I literally took it out of my, um, took it out of my scrunchie here, my pineapple, and ate breakfast and got dressed and washed my face and put on my face and um, now we have this. So I will go through the steps of what I do, showing you what I do in what order, um, the products that I'm using, how much I'm using, how I'm applying them, and then I will do a little um, diffuse with this bad boy at the end. I don't always do this step, but I'll do it for you guys today, just because you're special. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Raw Curls Anti-Frizz Spray. That's not true. The first thing I'm going to do is something that most curly girls probably wouldn't do, and that is I'm going to take a pick, and you can see this. I've had this for a long time. And I'm going to go through, and I'm going to kind of comb my hair because all that frizz that I had on top is not going to lay down by itself with products. It's not going to do that. So I kind of start over again, and I don't comb it all the way through. I kind of take my pick and sort of comb it down in sections because the other thing about my hair is that this, I don't know if you can see it on camera, I can see it in the mirror, will look raggedy and stringy if I don't kind of brush that out or comb it out on day two. It just won't. So I'm going to sort of comb this out a little bit to fluff it up because I like my hair big. I mean, I don't want to look big and fluffy, but I like a little volume. I do definitely like volume. Okay, so you can probably tell it's pretty fluffy. I don't have a lot of definition. I'm okay with that for right now. So then the next thing I'm going to do, step two, raw curls anti frizz spray. I'm going to take three sprays of that, and then I'm going to smooth it over and scrunch it up. And you can, you can probably tell, I mean, that instantly lends some more definition to my hair. It takes a little bit of the volume out, but smooths down. the frizz, and kind of gets my waves or curls back into their clumps. So this helps and this refreshes. This also reactivates my products from the day before. Now I did not have a stellar hair day yesterday. It was all right. It started out good, ended up kind of sad. I used a product with silicones in it. I don't usually do that, but I had it laying around and I thought I haven't used this in a while, so I'll give that a try. Okay, so I'm relatively happy with the way this is coming together. It by no means is done. I'm going to take a little bit more because this little section always needs a little more TLC. Okay. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with the way this is coming together. Next, I'm going to take my Kinky Curly Spiral Spritz. I'm going to spray one spray in my hand. I don't know if you can see how much I've got there. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to smooth it over in sections and scrunch it up. And I'm really not getting a lot on my, my roots at all. I'm kind of starting here down because I don't want to, I don't want to weigh my roots down. I'm going to do two sprays for the other side since I have more hair on this side. Scrunch that up. And I kind of use my fingers, I'll make like a claw with my hands and do like a raking motion just to kind of shake those 
waves up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to do the back. One more spray. Ooh, smooth it around. And then I'm going to do the underneath because I can tell my underneath just doesn't have any product. And you can tell, I mean, that's pretty. <laughs> that is like some 1B hair right there. That does not have a whole lot of curl to it. So I'm going to flip my head over. Oh, I know I forgot to put the raw curl spray on that, so we're going to just hope for the best. Okay. Oh, I gotta go back. I gotta put some raw curl spray on that underside. So I did three sprays of my raw curl spray. Just to dampen the underside. Okay. Okay. All right, I can see that there's more definition in my hair than there was before. It's a little bit damp. So at this point, I'm going to put away the styling products and break out the blow dryer. This is probably the best investment that I have made in terms of curly hair products in ever. It's wonderful, it's a great product. Um, I got the Extava blow dryer to go with their Orchid diffuser and I'm glad that I did because the Orchid diffuser is wonderful, but it's not a universal diffuser. You can maybe see how that fits. There's not, it's definitely not universal. So you've got to have a relatively small nozzle for this to fit in there. So um, there are two Extava dryers that work with their Extava Orchid diffuser. Not all Extava dryers do work with it. So if you're interested in this, look on Amazon. I think they'll tell you if you look up the Orchid and they keep running out of stock of the Orchid and then they bring it back in again and so you gotta look out for it. But if you look at the description on Amazon for the Orchid Diffuser by Extava, they will tell you which two blow dryers of theirs work with this guy. So what I do is I just take section, I take small sections, actually I take probably pretty big sections, and load them up in here. And I'm gonna dry this for about 15 seconds, so I'll speed through this part. And I do it on um, medium heat, so not cold but medium heat and um, low speed. All right, still a little bit crunchy. I'm gonna leave it for right now. And I'm gonna do the other side. And I'm trying to keep this hair right here over the top. It's kind of my frizz barrier. That way I'm not blowing way up here and creating more frizz. Seems to work. Most days. Not every day. Sometimes frizz just is. You guys know about my secret straight section here, so I'm going to do that one more time. What are you going to do? All right. Maybe one little more little section back there. All right, put that down. And let's kind of shake. I'm gonna go upside down and shake it. Do my claw again. My claw fluff helps the frizz lay down. And I'm gonna fluff it a little bit. Kind of scrunch out a little bit of the crunch. I really like this product because it doesn't, it doesn't get stringy on me. I like it. It's not, it's not really a gel. It's really a curl enhancer. But it has hold and it's nice and liquidy. It's not too thick, so I really like that a lot. So I'm pretty 
pretty happy with these results. I think it looks pretty good. But I always like to kind of pin it up a little bit, especially on day two. I just think sometimes it looks better. I hope I don't look like, do I look like vanilla ice? I hope not. Okay, so that is my refreshing tutorial for you guys. I hope that was helpful to kind of see it live and in action. It's not complicated. It took me basically no time, but I definitely do some things like combing out my hair a little bit before that I haven't heard talked about before, but I know it works for me, so maybe it will work for you. So pick Kinky Curly Spiral Spritz, Raw Curls Anti-Frizz Spray, and your orchid diffuser, and of course a funny little pen if you or anything like me and don't like your hair in your face. So that's it. Hope this helped. Have a great curl day, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.